McAllister from MacFit and today we're doing corn cardio. All you need is one light dumbbell, so let's get started. Welcome, welcome back. Today we are doing core, okay? Light dumbbell needed, I'm gonna use a 10 pound dumbbell. If you are pregnant, maybe you could even use a small resistance band, okay? So have that option, um, or no equipment at all if you don't want to. So look for a light dumbbell, if not, resistance band, if not that, body weight's fine. Okay, core work is what you make it. Let's start out there first. And when it comes to core breath and proper core engagement, that is what makes or breaks a core workout. I have been in so many situations when I'm doing core work with someone and they're like flying through mountain climbers or flying through whatever exercise we have programmed and they're not feeling anything and they're like, I could do this for five minutes. So the exercises we have today are very heavily focused on the core and you will feel it if done properly. I'm giving us 30 seconds per exercise per side so we can really take time to concentrate instead of flying through the reps, okay? We're gonna work on that during our one circuit. We've got three exercises that we're going to be working each side. Then we have a cardio finisher, a little hip finisher. So don't go anywhere. If you wanna get the heart rate up, we're gonna sweat it out. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It means the world. Okay, core breath. When we are breathing properly, our belly is going to expand and come back in. What we are not doing is having our chest and shoulders rise and expand. Look at the difference. And then my belly breathing. That's the kind of breathing that we want today, not this. If you often get chest pain or aches, all right, up here, and tension in your chest and shoulders, or if you're often feeling like you've got some issues in like a lower pooch area, lower oblique area, most likely you're breathing through your chest. We always want to be breathing through our stomach. Day-to-day -day life, exercising, like the whole bit, okay? So focus on breathing that way. When we are engaging our abs, we are drawing them in and up as well as our rib cage, okay? Not sucking in because do you see what happens? My chest and shoulders rise, my lower pooch is accentuated when I suck in. Instead, we're drawing the abs in and up, ribcage in and up, pelvic floor lifts. Same thing if you're pregnant, okay? Same thing if you're not pregnant. We always wanna be practicing this. First move, I'm going to show you without dumbbells, then we can add it in. We have an oblique crunch. I'm gonna be holding the dumbbell here, all right? Raising the knee, staying on one side for 30, all right? Dumbbell, we're really, really focusing on our obliques, drawing the ribcage in and up, pelvic floor lifting, breathing through our belly. If you've got a big belly, we're still fine to do oblique work. We just don't want to focus on that crunch. You could just be focusing on a knee lift as opposed to a crunch, if that makes sense. Exercise number two, a reverse lunge with a twist. So we have our dumbbell here. We're holding it in close. If you're pregnant, keep it in very close to your body with the resistance band you can be holding. We're going into a reverse lunge, then twisting towards that bed leg, okay, then coming back up, staying on one side for 30 seconds. For added, advancement you can be holding your dumbbell a little further on that twist if you've got a big belly we're not holding it out too far we don't want to feel any strains that's your body telling you you need to slow down or modify exercise number three a knee drive okay so we're going to go on another stabilized leg here our dumbbell's coming here all right just in one hand and we're just staying like this we're not coming into a full reverse lunge just kind of in a staggered stance here bringing that elbow to knee if you are pregnant, this will just be a lift. Just a knee lift, barely a rotation, but we're not crunching. Okay, again, resistance band or body weight. We're gonna do this circuit three times through, 30 seconds on for each, very minimal rest, all right? It's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's pick up our dumbbell and begin with that oblique crunch. Starting on that right side in three, two, one. Crunch, crunch. My, my dumbbell isn't coming all the way down, right? Just a little bit. Just so you've got some weight and gravity pulling to that knee, but we're not touching the elbow to knee. Staying on one side, you've got 15 seconds left. Okay, I really need to focus on my core breath when I'm talking to you, I can't breathe very well. So exhaling, each time we're bringing that knee up to elbow. Two, one, beautiful. We're getting five seconds here, then we are switching sides, okay? Ribcage drawn in and up. 
With these kind of exercises, you should feel very stable on that one leg. So get a little bend in that stabilized leg. Light toe tap and controlled. If you're not feeling in controlled, let's put the weight down, roll our shoulders back, focus on our core breath one more time and then try again. So when our core is engaged in fiery, two, one, beautiful. No one should be able to push you over, at least hardly. Okay, reverse lunge twist, here we go. Starting on our right leg and come up. This is the breath, inhale, exhale. Big inhale, exhale, beautiful. More than halfway, get low into that lunge. Again, for added resistance, you can hold that dumbbell out even more. Minimal to no rocking though when you're coming back. Two, one. You should feel your core engage and like a little fire the whole time. Here we go, one. Other leg. Beautiful, halfway. 10 seconds here. You've got it. Bring it out a little further if you can. Two, one. Beautiful. Again, if you've got a belly and you're feeling some strain, do little to no twists and just meet us in that reverse lunge. Okay, knee drives. Here we go. One leg. All right, these, you can touch that knee to elbow if you choose. Get the arm up like you're going into a press. Bring it straight down in a diagonal line. Tightened. Rib cage drawn in and up. Still using our core breath. Beautiful. One more side left. Here we go. Little bit of a little bit of a staggered stance. Chest tall, okay? Shoulders. Roll back and down. Slow and controlled. Beautiful. Less than 10 seconds here, you've got it. Three, two, one, love it. Okay, back to the top. We have got two more rounds, here we go. Right side oblique crunch. See where my dumbbell's going, just a little over to the side. Bringing that knee up high, in line with my hip. Okay, not forward, not diagonal. Really get it out to the side. Five seconds. Two, one. Bring it down for just a few seconds here, then we're switching sides, here we go. Okay, now you know what you're doing. You're feeling it well. You're like, I've got it. I'm into it. We've got a little fire going in our midsection. We love that. Then you can speed it up. If you're not there yet, we're staying in control. I always want quantity. <laughs> Quality over quantity. Three, two, one. That always means more. It will always make more of your difference. Just because you're going fast doesn't mean you're doing it well. Right lunge, right reverse lunge. Okay, keep it held out here. Don't bring it back and then like put it out to the side. All right, so keep it out there. Then you twist. Sink low into that lunge. Keep that foot planted on the ground. All right, you shouldn't feel your big toe or pinky toe like rising and falling. Two, one, all right, rest. Three, two, one, other side. Chest tall, little rotation. Your core is so much more than just like your front six pack, okay? There's so many muscles that are all woven together 
and work in synergy. That's why core work is so important because you use those muscles all day long. That was your last one. All right, knee drives. Let's get it up into our right hand. Here we go. Chest is tall. Even when you're rotating, you're not coming down. You are getting that crunch in, but your chest is up. You've got it. Almost pretend like you're gonna squeeze a ball in between. You want it to pop. Two, one, probably a balloon then. I don't know what ball we would make pop, but it might be kind of weak. Here we go, other side. How we doing? Do you feel that difference? I hope you do. Comment down below if you do. Comment down below if the instruction is helpful or if you have questions. No questions is a bad one. I'm sure if you're thinking it, a lot of other people are too. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, this is our last round today. We're getting it in, moving on to some fun cardio. And here we go. I'm always giving you guys two seconds. I think to just stop blabbing. I'm normally not much of a talker when it comes to working out. Sometimes I just need to shut up, okay? I love it. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, give me one more. Beautiful. All right, put it down. Woo! And up, left side. Right foot, let's stop. Just kidding. Chest is tall. We're not leaning too far over to the right, okay? Just a little. 10 seconds. Smile. Don't forget to smile. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Guys, it's not that serious. You know this by now. It's not that serious. Right leg. If you've not yet given it a go holding it out a little farther, just try. Try one. What's it gonna hurt? Ten seconds. You're doing great. Three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out. Other side. Here we go. Turn this way. Always gotta remember my angles. You guys, I'm still new at this. I just like to work out and I like to help you do it, but all those excess things, they just do my best. Sometimes it feels good just to kind of like punch the crap 
jump out of something. Okay, 30 seconds each side. Hands up, protecting your face. A little bit of a boxer shuffle. We're gonna go jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. In those jabs, you're stepping back, leaning into it with your weight with that front foot coming back, protecting your face. Uppercut, your elbows are staying close into your body. Yeah, those obliques, do you feel them now? That's what we've got here, okay? 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Don't forget to lean forward and put your weight forward into those uppercuts. Like you're really just gonna give it to someone. You know what I'm saying? Okay, next we've got a squat jump and twist. This takes a little bit of coordination, but it's a fun one. Okay, we're coming down to squat jump, twist, all right? Our left leg would come up, so my right leg would, my right arm would come forward. Squat, other side. All right, it's gonna be good. We're still getting that core in, and it's gonna be really fun. Just three rounds, 30 seconds each side, 30 seconds of the squat jump and twist. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, start out slow, jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Once you've got it, then you can speed it up. The key is bringing those hands back into your face and really give it to me on those jabs and uppercuts, okay? It should be hard to talk, like how my voice sounds crazy. You've got it. Three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out, switch sides. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. It always takes a second to get used to the other side. Got it. We are more than halfway now. Protect your face. Three, two, one. Shake it out. Her squat twist. Here we go. Squat jump, twist. Oh, keep going. Modification. You're squatting. Bring the leg out. Okay? You just stay right there. Still give it to me with intensity. Chest up. Whole time. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Three, two, one. Tighten that ponytail. We mean business. Here we go. Oh my gosh, other side. I'm like, why does this feel funny? I'm so bad on my other side. Breathe it out. You've got it. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. Shake out those arms. Jump switch sides. Get your kids involved. Feels good for everyone to reach a little anger. Even my three-year-old. <laughs> jab, jab. You've got it. Three, two, one. Deep breath, here we go. Snap it. Hiya. Five, four, three, two. Okay, here's your last set. Here we go. Like a bat is in front of you. Woo! Keep it going. This is your last time on the side. Less than 10. Woo, those obliques, right? Three, two, one. Clap, switch. We're not done yet. You look fierce. You 
know it. Woo! Ten seconds. Punching out. All that crap you don't need in your life, okay? Only goodness here. Two, one. Great job. Our last set, your best one yet. Here we go. I am with you. So out of breath. But we're giving our best form of the day. You did that. Way to go. I left it all out on the table. Deep breath with me. Let's try another one. Arms up overhead. Rest them down on your head. Now shake them out. Okay, get in a wide stance here with me. Bring those arms up overhead. You can let your rib cage expand right now. All right, arching your back. Let the rib cage expand. Bring it over to the side and pull. Grab your wrists and pull. Keep those hips in line, don't do this. Keep them here. Pull a little behind your head. Let go, other side. Reach up, over. back. Beautiful. Oh, shake it out. That feels good. Way to go today. Let me know your favorite part down in the comments and I will see you again next week.